Well, hello guys, welcome back. I know, two videos in one day, but we had a big breakthrough. Um, I knew it was time to get rid of those scarecrows, and I was kind of putting it off all day. I was doing all the cleaning around the house. And then I'm like, these things smell musty, and they just, they look bad, and they're faded in spots, and there's no... There's no saving them at this point. And I, the paranoid maniac that I am, I thought, what if I put these out and someone picks them up and fixes them up and goes on YouTube or Snapchat or something and gets all the recognition I never got? That's how my disturbed mind works. And look, it's like, wow, you're really paranoid. You know that? And I'm like, yeah, you know what? I am. And I said, you know what? If, it, if they get the recognition for it, Fine, I really don't care. So we went out. I really didn't want to go out, but Dionysus kind of like shoved me up the door. He's like, you can do this thing. He's like, I'm the lord of the theater. I know those things are past our prime. So we put them out. And I have all this other stuff to decorate with Hall for Halloween. And I did keep like almost everything for FNAF. Some of the stuff I bought was so crappy it literally fell apart and I'm an adult so don't play with this stuff it was just on display and fell apart on display so that went out too and we still have a lot of stuff left that if we don't abuse it I can still decorate for Halloween I have all the jack o lanterns I made left and I have I brought these blow up props when I was still trying to breathe life into the other channel I have those left, so I might put one of those up for Halloween, and now that I work with Hermes, I don't worry anymore if people steal stuff. I'm like, good, go ahead, steal it. I don't really care. Um, it, It's not that I don't care, it's just like, Hermes is like, why do you have a death grip on your possessions? What happens if it gets stolen? And I'm like, nothing. Uh, and I'm like, I at least would hope people would use something if they steal it, not, you know, just destroy it or something. And he's like, I'm sure they will if they steal it, but you're so paranoid. So it was really liberating. So we'll probably put one of those blow molds out for the kids. And maybe we'll put out candy and maybe we won't. We're trying to decide because I live on a really bad corner and I really don't get trick-or-treaters. I just straight up don't get kids. I get adults that stop and the kids wait in the car because it's how trick-or-treating works anymore. But uh, it was just such a weight off of me because I spent so much money. I was visiting my friend yesterday and telling her, I said, you know, I've already spent more money on glue and paint to keep fixing these things up than I ever spent on any project inside my home. And I said, that kind of made me kind of mad. I said, they sound... They start out selling free, and then you go and you buy all the items you need. And I'm like, that got expensive. It got expensive. I don't even want to think how much I put into them. But, you know, as Loki pointed out, we can always start again. If I would, like, once they go on Tuesday, if I would, you know, want them back or somebody picks them up, I can always remake them. I know how to do this. I could do it in my sleep at this point. I could always remake these characters. But I'm like, I really like remembering now the good times before I had that channel. And um, I like the first game. Everything that came after that is kind of like a sonic nightmare. And it's like, I'd rather look at the original four and enjoy that and not be in all this hype anymore. It's just, it's gotten to the point where it's like a wall of noise to me. It's not even remotely enjoyable. So... We're, we we are really proud of ourselves on making bacon spam with um, honey on it. So because we're like we're celebrating. Um, that was a big step for me. I don't know why I couldn't let go of those things. I think it was because I didn't want to let go of that channel, and I just kept thinking if I hold on to them long enough, the channel magically revive. Oh, oh, it's dead. Um, I'm like basically making nothing because almost every day you get people making monetary claims on the music in a video game and it's like you just can't win if you were already established to be one thing but if you're not it's it's a deal breaker so we're we're happy um and it was good knowing i could finally totally let go of that channel and be like i'm not even going to bother trying to revive it because i'm making nothing now trying to make a video for every say six months it's just 
it's not going to happen. I haven't even put the VR unit on my head for... Last time I played for you guys was about it. Um, I'm just going through Stubert's now where I'm like, nah. And it's not that I don't appreciate that I have VR. It's just that you can only play so much. You'd like to actually go out in the real world and enjoy the real world and, you know, do stuff around your house. So I hope you guys enjoy that. We're just really pleased because it's it feels like a huge weight lifted off of me and I'm not nervous anymore because I knew I had to get it done. I knew I had to get rid of them. I knew I had to let go, and it's easier for me to just let go all at once. I do have, like I said, the jackal lanterns, but those I really worked hard on. I actually like those better than the characters I made. And I have the inflatables, which I can tell they're a piece of crap. If they don't catch on fire or burst apart the seams when I put them out, it's going to be a miracle. I've had them on in the house, but only for the other channel. And I never had them on too long. I would, like, have Bonnie on for, like, an hour or so. But, yep, it's going to be good. It's going to be a weird Halloween. The kids, I don't think, will notice. Because I think the kids are beyond FNAF now. I don't think the adults will notice. Or if they do, I don't think they'll care. So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.